Lisa and Jay, how long have you guys been coming here? About a year and a half. Okay. Um, what attracted you to Calvary Church? The people. Um, did a search online. We were looking for a Calvary Chapel, and this popped up, this church popped up, and on the first page of the search results, and we decided to check it out. Let's see, how old were you when you put your faith in Christ? Uh, 54. You want, you want to tell us a little bit about that, just kind of your personal testimony? Well, um, I first started going to church um, in Sunday school when I was about 11, 12 years old. Even went to BBS. But I didn't grow up in a church-going family. My mom and dad, to this day, I've never seen them set foot in a church, so I didn't grow up with that kind of influence, and by the time I became a teenager, I kind of put God on the back burner, and then uh, he stayed that he stayed there until just a few years ago, when I started feeling convicted over things in my past especially in regards to um, my children. So. Um, I don't think a lot of people realize this. You spent some time serving our country. Um, tell us a little bit about your background, kind of you know, what, what, what you were responsible for to give people some insight there. Um, I joined the Army out of high school the first time in 1987. And I did two years and got out. And then back in 2001, when I was 32, I went back into the Army. And 9-11 happened, and so I kind of knew that I was going to be going somewhere. And from 2001 to 2009, I served as an armament um, specialist, basically fixing weapon systems on track vehicles, tanks, Bradleys, Paladins and also fixing small arms repair, and I was a gunner through the deployments to Iraq. That's how I knew she would be good for first grade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what led you to consider teaching kids? You know, I really don't know. I think God was kind of pushing me out of my comfort zone because Teaching soldiers, that's one thing because you can kind of do things with them that you can't do with little kids. <laughs> and but seriously, I think God was really pushing me to do this. Um, now we, uh, even before BBS, you've been helping on Wednesday nights. And I think, I, have you, had you ever worked with kids before Calvary? No. No, uh, even with my kids, it was kind of, you know, do as I say, not as I do. And I've always been kind of more comfortable around adults than kids. So, so definitely stretching you, right? Um, you have taught, you taught first grade in Vacation Bible School this week. How many kids did you have? Uh, 18, between 15 to 18 kids. I want you guys to imagine 15 to 18 kids in the cry room, okay? That's that's where all this took place. So we were constantly checking on her, making sure she had the help that she needed because it was pretty lively in there, right? Yes, it was, but I can thank Chris. She was my helper. She was, she was, I could have done it without her. Uh, what were some of the highlights this week in serving as a teacher? Water day. <laughs> Julia was there and I was able to gain a certain boy <laughs> with the water balloons. <laughs> All right, cool. I guess that was the highlight then. Anything else? Just watching the kids, just seeing 
the life in it, the joy, the the exuberation. Um, it's not it's something that I haven't seen in a long time. Um, not since my kids were little. It's such a blessing for us as leaders to provide an environment, a safe environment, you know, for them to experience God, you know, and, and do some things to help them understand it at their level. And um, we appreciate all the time that you put into that because I know there were hours and hours that went into the, the curriculum, studying the curriculum. Um, what would you say to someone on the fence about serving at BBS? Children truly are a gift from God. And, um, and if any of you feel like that your life is worth the hill of beans and that you're just tired of life, and that you can't do anything to advance the kingdom of God, I implore you to consider volunteering at next year's BBS. Thank you, Lisa. Appreciate that.